Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you exactly what a removed cousin is. The word removed confuses a lot of people. You may not understand what a first cousin twice removed is or even a fourth cousin three times removed, which is why I've created this video and I've chock-a-blocked it with as much information as possible right down to the DNA share just in case you've matched someone recently in a DNA test and you don't know who they are. But the first thing we need to know while understanding removed cousins is what is their DNA share? So for this part, I've broken it down into three sections as you can see here. We have the first cousin section, the second cousin section, and of course the third cousin section. And for all three of these sections, I've covered once removed and twice removed cousins. No, I have not covered anything like third or fourth times removed, and no, I have not covered anything into the fourth cousins or beyond. However, if that is a video that would interest you, let me know in the comments below because I would really like to know. As you can see from these DNA shares, all of these are on average, which I will discuss with you later on in the video. But it's all well and good showing you these numbers, but how are you actually related? Well, let's start off with the charts. We'll start off with you, we'll head up from you to your parent, and then above your parent, of course, is your grandparent. Now, the parents of your grandparents are your great-grandparents. And then if we drop down the generations, we have a great uncle or aunt, which of course is your grandparent's sibling. And then we go down one more and we are at the first cousin once removed. This will be your closest removed cousin. Now, what makes you a removed cousin? How does the word removed come into this? Well, it's simple, really. You are removed because your ancestors are not the same generation. So for you, your shared ancestors with your first cousin once removed are your great grandparents, but for your first cousin once removed, it is only their grandparents. I've expanded the charts a little further here. As you can see, I have included all the way down to second cousin once removed, as well as including your child, because your child will match your second cousin as a second cousin once removed, they'll match your first cousin as a first cousin twice removed and they will also match your second cousin once removed as a third cousin. Now going back to the average DNA shares that I showed you earlier, I've broken these down into some graphs for you to understand a bit better. Now of course these are three slides which includes the first cousins, the second cousin, the third cousin sections of the once and twice removed and as you can see here a first cousin once removed even though you share 6.25% on average DNA that only gives you an 88% chance of you being a first cousin once removed because you even have a 3% chance of being a first cousin because DNA does not split evenly. I'm going to roll through the next couple of slides and I will let you guys screenshot them or whatever you need to do just so you guys can understand them a little better. DNA evidently doesn't split evenly which is why these figures are the average. These are the statistical averages when you split things by two by two by two. But in reality, you can share a lot more DNA with these cousins and even a lot less DNA. In fact, you don't match on average 10% of your third cousins on DNA tests. Let's move on to some removed cousin facts. Facts about removed cousins. Removed cousins can be half cousins. For example, you'd only share one great grandparent. And this is very true. Lots of people have half siblings, but when you go down the generations, these do become half removed cousins. Age doesn't matter when it comes to removed cousins. Younger people can be the generation above you. And that is completely true. In fact, my father's first cousins, which are my first cousin once removed, and my children's first cousins twice removed, are closer to my children's age and younger than me than they are to their own first cousin, who is my father. Removed cousins stretch through history. You'll have a first cousin 30 times removed buried somewhere out there. Again, very true, your first cousin's 30 times removed could actually be Henry VIII. How do I address my cousin? Now, this is just an extra slide that I've added for people who don't know how to address their parents' first cousins and things like that. Calling higher generations uncle or aunt and lower generations niece or nephew is common in cultures and traditions worldwide. Maybe you are struggling to describe your first cousin twice removed to someone. 
so it might be easier in your scenario to call them an uncle or aunt. And the final thing on everyone's lips is, am I a removed cousin? I'm going to say 100% yes, you are a removed cousin somewhere out there. You will have cousins above your generation and cousins below your generation completely. Yes, they may be 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th cousins. You may not have any close family whatsoever, but yes, you will certainly be a removed cousin. Now, are you a removed cousin to someone you've matched on a DNA test? Well, I'm going to link a website below, it's called DNA Painter. The DNA that you match with this person, whether it's 3% DNA or 852 centimorgans, chuck it into the website and it will give you the average percentages like I showed you in the previous slides, so you can determine the correct relationship that you have with this person. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really do hope you have enjoyed it as I've spent a lot of time working on this. Now, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below because I would really like to know. And if you have any ideas for any future videos or you want to understand any other DNA relationships or things like that, please let me know because I would love to create more videos on them. Now, I do plan to upload more videos in the future, and I understand that this is my first video in quite a few months. So I do apologize for that, and I hope that you'll stick around, you'll subscribe, turn on your bell notifications, and stay here for the next upload, which will be up very, very soon.